G'day golfers, Glenn Haynes at Aussie Golf Pros. And thank you for your participation in our June putting month. But now we're into a new month, July, and no theme. We're just gonna bring you great quality content each week to help you improve your golf. So today's subject is about freezing over the golf ball. So many golfers do it. We know that it's upsetting your natural routine and your natural ability to hit good golf shots. So what's actually happening mentally, what's happening physically, and how can we stop freezing over the golf ball? Let's head to the range. Why do you freeze over the golf ball? Well, let's talk about what happens when you do freeze over the golf ball. You're getting set up for your shot, you might look at the target, and then you're staring down at the golf ball and now you're internalizing. You're thinking about all of the things that you're trying to remember in the golf swing and you're very focused on what's happening with your swing and your body. Imagine a learner driver getting into the car and now very internally focused. The ignition, the pedals, the steering, the gear stick, headlights, oh, it's raining. Where is the switch for the wipers? Very internally focused and not very safe. And then this is part of the learning process. We get pro proficient with what's happening inside the car and then we start to get externally focused on where we're going and the hazards that are out there and being safe. It's part of the normal learning process. But how long have you been playing golf? Five years, 10 years, 20 years? Are you still a learner golfer? Are you still focusing internally on what's happening with the golf swing and keeping your arms straight and where your weight's going, your full turn, all these sorts of things. They're fine to practice, but when we get out on the golf course, we've really got to focus externally so that we can be proficient at what we've learned to do. And externally means focusing on the target. So if we get over the golf ball and we're looking down at the ball for three, four, five, ten seconds, then we're very internal, we've completely lost our connection with the target. We looked at it too long ago. So the sports psychologists reckon that we should have around one to two seconds between that last look at the target, back to the ball, and then pulling the trigger. And that's really key in helping us to focus externally, to help us be connected with the target. That's really, really important. And it doesn't matter what shot you're playing, it can be a drive, uh, an iron into a green, a pitch, a chip, and especially a putt. We've really got to stay connected with the target, be externally focused on what we want that ball to do if we want to achieve the results that we're looking for, if we want to perform at our optimum level. So here's an example of what someone might do if they're internally focused and internalized. So a couple of looks at the target, most people do that and then they freeze. Very still, going through that checklist in their mind, very internalized, forgotten the target completely, and too much thought process. There could be a checklist of four, five, six things, or more. This is what we want to see. Pick our target. Set up, another look to the target. Continually moving so we're not freezing up and not getting too tense as well, because that freezing action that a lot of golfers do really tenses our muscles. Last look at the target, one to two seconds. Pull the trigger. That way we can react to the target. We find it easy in other sports because the ball's moving. Tennis, soccer, cricket, we're just reacting to the ball and, and our focus is why we want to hit that ball. It seems quite easy with other sports, but we struggle with golf because the ball is so still. And we have all of this extra time that we're allowed, but unfortunately we don't use it very effectively and it's very easy to fall into that trap of freezing up, tensing up, going through that checklist and completely losing focus on the target, internalizing instead of externalizing. It's been proven that we can perform much more effectively and to our optimum level if our focus is external. Thanks so much for watching. Please share this video with anyone that you see is freezing over the golf ball. 
whether it be any shot from a putt right through to a drive. And we know that freezing over the golf ball is not doing that golfer any good whatsoever. Help them to free up their mind and their body and hit better golf shots. If you're enjoying our videos, then please click the subscribe button, hit that little bell in the corner for your notifications of our new videos, which come out every Thursday. And we look forward to sharing our ideas on how you can improve your golf without changing your swing next week. Are you the best golfer you can be?